ordered now a lot of people on the uh, on the phone so we're going to process those orders and I'll update you but here's another first airing of the weekend and I think the most important thing to use from clean beauty category the deodorants. These are the most amazing deodorant sticks. And you can do these on single or auto ship, by the way. It's two for 34. You can do this on five flex or six. Obviously, everything is coming to you with no charge to ship. But having something clean. You know, we have a lot of delicate, the glands in our armpits are very um, susceptible to not doing well with chemicals. I mean, it, it's just like the worst place to put anything with chemicals. This is clean beauty with goat milk. So, oh, and it smells amazing, guys. Yeah, and there's no added fragrance. That's the natural wow. citron uh, that comes in the deodorant. And you know, before we get into the science, the first thing we want everyone to put out of their mind is does it work or not? It, it absolutely works. works. And if you read all the reviews on hsn.com for this deodorant about how well it works, you can put that out of your head. It works. And now, I am, but I just want to say, yeah. I am so passionate about this, like mm. you, Callie. I like, we are using the wrong deodorants and antiperspirants under our arms, the most sensitive areas. You guys have read articles about it. You know what mm -hmm. you're doing mm -hmm. when you use that aluminum, when you use that um, baking soda. You know what's happening. Maybe you've tried a natural before and it didn't work, so you reluctantly went back to those aluminum things. This is the chance to cut that out forever. That's right, because the history of deodorant was, first, they used aluminum sulfate, which actually blocked the sweat glands, and that's a no-no. And then... Uh, a big no-no. A big no-no. Then they switched to baking soda in natural varieties, and baking soda does work at controlling the odor, but for a huge percentage of the population... Including in, yourself. Including myself, you can get what's called an alkaline burn under your arm when you use the baking soda. You get that irritation, that red irritation. And so we were like, how can we use our knowledge of the microbiome and probiotics and figure out how we can control odor without using aluminum, without using baking soda. And it took us a long time to figure out how to do this and to create something that worked. Okay, so here's, here's the secret. That microbiome ha under your arm has bacteria. They eat the, um, your the body's sebum, organic matter. Yeah, so what your or body naturally produces, that bacteria eats it, and then it off-gasses. That's the odor. Now, a lot of natural deodorants try to kill that bacteria. Some of that bacteria is good. We decide to starve that bacteria. So we have a natural citrate, which actually breaks down that organic matter, which starves that bacteria so it can't off-gas, so it can't cause odor. I know that sounds very scientific, but the key thing is it works. You can switch to a natural deodorant that works. And it does it in the new science way without using aluminum, without using baking soda. It does it by controlling the off-gassing of the bacteria under your arm. And here's what's also great, Callie. Of course, it's got that great scent that's very natural. gender neutral, very gender neutral. It goes on completely clear. It's not sticky, yes. it's not tacky. Yes. The other thing is, it's got the goat milk. So it conditions the area under your arm as well. And we often don't condition our underarm area. The Usually skin. abusing it. So if you're someone who shaves under your arm, you're gonna get less irritation because you're conditioning ah, using the goat milk. Interesting, I wanna read a couple comments on Facebook about this. Tara is joining saying the milk stick deodorant works. I'm a Wisconsin gardener and this deodorant works all day with no odor and no residue. Uh, another one down here, we want to say, oh, the deodorant works in all caps. I was skeptical at first, but now refuse to use anything else. That's from Cindy. I mean, it is true. I mean, a lot of us think, oh, clean beauty is not gonna be as effective. But this, well, this is a whole different ball game. And the reason I'm glad you shared the science, both of you, is because, I mean, Dr. Ridge, you were the youngest geriatrician at Mount Sinai Hospital ever in the history. I mean, you know from a medical perspective, and you guys do your research, your scientific research, before you even put a product to market. So it has been, yes. it took a while, and it's never something we have in stock readily. So do it today, and then set yourself up on auto ship. I'm gonna show you how and much you're getting to as you tell us more. Yeah, so this is also the first time we've offered it on auto ship. Um, so you can get two of them on auto ship so you're never without. But you're right, it, we were so passionate and it took us so long to develop this. Um, we wanted to get something out right away because we know how bad de uh, deodorants and antiperspirants are with aluminum and, and baking powder. We wanted to get something out right away, but it took us so long to figure out how we can create something that works. And it's that citrate. 
And this was an immediate hit as soon as we launched it here on yeah. HSN. And you know, we're you know, and we're still waiting on neighbors calling. We want to hear from as many neighbors in the next couple hours as possible. Do you remember possible. Suzanne when when we launched it with Suzanne running? And, uh -huh. and she was like, I'm taking this to go play tennis. And she was so skeptical. <laughs> Because Suzanne's a big tennis player. It's true. The next show she came on, she's like, it worked, guys. Now, here was the thing. We launched it. I believe we launched it with Colleen Lopez. And then we came back a few months later and had it again. And a neighbor called in. And she was just like the neighbor who in your, the message you were reading. And she's like, I was skeptical because I've tried natural deodorants before and they didn't work. But I heard about the new science about starving the bacteria so that they can't off-gas. And so the neighbor said, you know what? I'm going to test those Beekman boys out. I'm going to do my own science scientific test. She said, my son has really stinky feet and I'm going to test this science. And she said, I'm going to tell him to rub this on the bottom of his feet and see if he can starve the bacteria on the bottom of his feet. And she said, it worked. <laughs> He had no more stinky feet. That's amazing. Because the science under your arm is the science anywhere. You stop the bacteria from eating, they can't off-gas, and then you control the odor. And that's how this works. And we had one of our team members um, actually st open up a fresh tube. You're getting two tubes. And yeah. see how long it lasted. They had to sit there and just wipe it and wipe it and wipe it on their arm. So 800 swipes <laughs> per tube. <laughs> so 1,600 swipes oh, you're getting. Well, yeah. And, and I believe, I'll double check, but this is on odd. Auto ship. So, mm -hmm. you know, if you share, if, if there's two or more of you in your home, you're gonna you're gonna go through these with the summer coming up. A question came in. Yeah, Allison's responded to Linda was asking if it's an antiperspirant. Also, uh, it is a deodorant. What is the difference, yeah. guys? You really don't well, want an antiperspirant. That's right. You mm -hmm. should never. Your body is made to sweat. I realize sometimes you think you sweat with sweat too much, but that's your body's way of cooling down. What you need, what you want to do is stop the odor, and that's coming from the bacteria. If you stop the pores that are <laughs> sweating, the sweat glands, you're doing harm to yourself. Yeah, you yeah. never want to block up the body in any way. And I would also say... But that say, doesn't mean you can, can't stop odor. Right. That's true. The, uh, the thing about antiperspirant, have you ever used a product and it like stains the underarm oh. area of the blouse? That's not the deodorant. Those are the chemicals in the antiperspirants um, that are taking out the dyes from the fabric. Uh, and so just think about that. When you're using an antiperspirant, you're using chemicals under your arm to block the sweat glands. Yep. That can Which is actually a leach dye yeah. from the fabric. <laughs> yeah. Ugh, it's not Don't good. Don't want to do that. Here's not another good, good one. Uh, Trisha on Facebook. Tried this during lockdown. Works great. As my husband says, I wasn't whiffy. <laughs> <laughs> That's a no, seriously, this it. is... This is an incredible product, and I can't wait for you to try it. In fact, we're going to head off to the phones to welcome a neighbor from Michigan. Oh, great. We have Rita joining us. Rita, welcome to HSN. You're with Callie, with Josh, and with Brent. Hi, Hi neighbor. neighbor. Hi, Josh. Hi, how are you? Good. Doing great. Good. I'm Callie. I, I wanted to, to speak in behalf of your products. I was watching the show one day. And I was having huge problems with um, my underarms. And I saw the hostess, uh, Colleen Lopez, speaking of the deodorant. Uh, so I tried it. I had gone to the doctor, and nothing seemed to work. And so I ordered it, and I tried it. And that's been over three years ago. And mm -hmm. I've never had a problem since. And I have a ton, just a ton of Beekman products, and I love every last one of them. And one of the main things I like is the bar soap, that it doesn't get slimy. It's just yes, perfect. Yeah. Every single thing that you have, I've got a collection now. So yesterday I ordered so much stuff, and I ordered again today, and I told the lady I probably have to get a job at the shoulders. You have to pay for the stuff, or you might have to have him come to the farm and give me a job. <laughs> we'll, we'll put you to work. We'll give you some chores. There's plenty of chores. <laughs> oh, I love that. What a great story, and I love that you started with the de deodorant. That's right, and now you're yeah. head to toe, and that's how it happens, it is. right? Any, any product you buy over the next hour and a half, it might be your first yeah. Beekman product you will go Beekman head to toe. That's how important the goat milk is to nourish your skin. Thank you for skin. sharing w with everybody. Yeah, a, a, really a, appreciate a that, story. Rita. We want more stories like and, that. If you have yeah. a story like that, oh, give us a call. What I have a story from said? Facebook from Cindy. Yeah. Okay. This is interesting. I always thought there was an issue with other deodorants and antiperspirants because here's the thing. They make you remove it for a mammogram. Hmm, makes me wonder why. Mm -hmm. Just a yeah. good point, mm -hmm. right? right?
That is a great, great point. And, and that's, that's why we're so passionate in developing this deodorant. Yeah. I, you know, I always say, even if you don't use our deodorant, just stop using the aluminum. Stop using the baking powder. I, I mean, go, go sweat freely. It, it, you don't have to buy ours, but stop using those products. The reason we developed this is because we wanted to create something that didn't cause those problems, that didn't have those issues of the aluminum, of the baking soda, didn't have those issues, yet still worked. And, and let me tell you, read the reviews. It is very hard to get good reviews on deodorant. People are ready yeah. to tell you everything wrong with it. The fact that we have so many amazing reviews on a natural deodorant, I mean, that's what makes me most proud. And There's not only question. does it work, yeah. Yeah. Not, not only does it work, not only does it go on clear, not only does it have that beautiful um, gender neutral scent, but every time you buy um, anything that's using the goat milk, you know what that means? You're conditioning your skin and you get to see more baby goats. <laughs> so, yeah. you know, I'm just saying that. Well, a, then there's a, that. I had a bonus. <laughs> See, um, there you go. More baby Cheryl goes, just like that. wants to know on Facebook, what is the shelf life of the uh, deodorant? Oh, the unopened shelf life of the deodorant is three years. It, it, so yeah. we've got a duo today. And so if you're trying to stock up or you have multiple people in your family, you're st stocking up, the unopened shelf life is three years. But okay. we don't... Uh, this we're very new to having it on auto ship because it took us a long time to make enough to offer on auto ship So if you've tried it right. if you love it if you know it works and maybe you run out because we're not always on with it Yeah, now's the time to lock it in. It, well, yeah, it's a duo keep that in mind There's free yeah. shipping you can do five plex you're, you're paying 680 if you don't love it You can send it back you've got a month uh, and you can do auto ship So keep that in mind if you know you love it and you want it every I mean six months You can make sure it's always on rotation for you um, We have another neighbor joining us from Michigan who loved the, loves this product. Okay. It's Susan calling in next. Welcome, Susan. Meet, meet the guys. Hi, Hi how neighbor. are you? We are so great. great. Glad to have you with us. Do you, do you use the deodorant, Susan? I do. I just ordered some. Um, I love your product, and I have to say um, what is really important to me on top of not only loving your product is that you, you are PETA approved, which is mm -hmm. so important yeah, to me. Right. That's right. Thank you. Peter approved, Peter approved. Leaping Bunny certified. That's right. And Humane right. Society. And Humane Society. We've got we've got them all. <laughs> yes. Because animals I think are important. It's very important for people to know because there are so many companies that say they don't test, and then you find out they test in another country. And I'm just so that's impressed right. with you guys. I just wanted to let you know oh. that. Oh, thank you, because that's important. We say the pillars of our company, uh, well, the pillar is kindness, and we say kind to skin, uh, kind to animals, kind to planet, kind to each other. Um, and so we make sure that we are, every product we develop fits into every single one of those and pillars no and cruelty-free. No testing on animals. Yeah, no matter important. how much the goats beg to try the product, <laughs> we, just, we, won't let we them will do not it. let them yeah. test it. <laughs> Good. So I, I just wanted to, to say that and, and, and just thank, thank you for you. every for your product. Thank oh, you, Susan. Thank you, and thank you for caring oh. about that. And yeah. that goes on yeah. every product, not just deodorant. None of our products are ever tested on yeah. animals. A good point. So I'm glad you brought that up. There's so much that there's so much goodness here. By the way, you can hear how many people are obsessed with this product. Auto ship to do this on regular because you know it's not something that is in stock all the time. But when you do auto ship, it is always in stock for you, and it will get there without you even having to think about it. So, stock up today eight one six one seven. Don't forget we have we earlier on the show. If you're just tuning in, we had a huge hit.